mountains. And we don't come when it's raining, we don't come when it's snowing. But on nice mornings, we walk here. People who live there know the lore. Most of these cold case things, I think, were found on this side of the river. It's remote, it's remote, there's easy access. Easy access to a place where victims are found more frequently than their killers. Rewind to 1986, where an out-of-state hitchhiker named Jack Andrews was found off of Route 8's Exit 41, a rest stop that's now closed. Known to police as a drifter and suspected to have been involved in prostitution, his body was decapitated and his legs and genitals removed with surgical precision. Only the torso remained. Authorities suspect it was a sex-related crime. So mutilated, he could only be identified by fingerprint records. Two years later, in 1988, 24-year-old Karen Everett's body was found strangled and half-naked in the woods off Valley Road, near Route 8 in Harrington. Police describe her as a working Waterbury prostitute. Her family says she was so much more. Right now, I'm on North Main Street, which I believe is the last place she was seen alive. And what's your, your relationship to uh, Karen Everett? She was my aunt. Kareen Driggers, who now lives in Virginia, has been waiting 30 years to find out what happened to her aunt Karen, who died when she was just a girl. I think I was in the fifth or the sixth grade. She says despite her troubles, drug use was definitely there, and, and I know it was. Karen was a free spirit. In records we found, there were pages of letters and poetry written to family and loved ones. She, she never really planted her two feet uh, anywhere for a long period of time. State police say they found another body at this very same location within a few feet of the body found this morning. Just months later, in early 1989, another troubled spirit from Waterbury was found dead in Harrington, in the exact same place, killed the exact same way. 30-year-old Mildred Alvarado, also identified by police as a working Waterbury prostitute, had been strangled. Her clothed remains dumped off of Route 8 near Valley Road. Things were quiet until another murder in 1992, the body of Mary Jo Markowitz, another Waterbury prostitute found off of Route 8 on Chase River Road in the northern part of Waterbury. She was found around 12 miles away from the first three murders. The 34-year-old had been stabbed and covered in dirt, unclothed from the waist up. A little more than a mile away from where Markowitz was found two years later, the body of a 34-year-old woman, Olga Maria Cornelius Uviera, was found off Route 262, adjacent to Route 8. The Waterbury woman's naked body showed blunt force trauma, consistent with being hit by a car, but one of her breasts had been cut off. Twelve years later, in 2006, 22-year-old Jessica Muskis was identified as a new set of remains found along Route 8 and that infamous Exit 41. Muskis had been missing for two years out of Waterbury. The young mother's body was found decomposed, identified by dental records. The medical examiner couldn't even identify a cause of death. Nearly all the victims were killed elsewhere and dumped. More than 10 years passed without another victim, until 2021. New developments tonight on human remains found in the woods out in Litchfield County. When we came down here to walk, a lot of state police here. An investigation swarming along Route 8, thrusting the troubled corridor into the fleeting spotlight again.